Hi, Alma. Hi, teacher Jessica. How are you, Alma? Um, I feel a, a little bad. Really? Why? What's the problem, Alma? I, this is a dolor de, de cuerpo. You have dolor body de... ache. Body ache. Okay. Oh no, I'm so sorry to hear that, Alma. Um, do you have any other symptoms? Perdón. Excuse me. Excuse me, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you have any other symptoms, Alma? Is that okay? Huh? Um, do you have other symptoms? Um, no, no, no. It's, it's solo dolor de cuerpo. de cuerpo. Only body ache. Yes, yes, it's only body. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. Well, hopefully with a um, with a, a you know a pill a painkiller it will go away, right? So have you have you taken anything, anything like acetaminophen or ibuprofen? Do you, do you know what I'm asking? Do you know Do you know Alma acet a cinnamonopin? Oh, sorry. A cinnamonopin? No? Can you repeat, please, teacher? Yeah. Do you know a cinnamonopin? A cinnamonopin is a cetaminophen. But no, um, only the recept, the uh, sleep yesterday and, and today, I sleep too. Okay, okay, I understand, okay. Hopefully you feel better, Alma, um, uh, I, I really hope you feel better. Yeah. Thank you. Mm hmm okay. All right, um, let me see. Hello, everybody, we're starting to get more and more. Welcome. Welcome, Lorena. Welcome, Jose Arturo. Welcome, Carla, Mauricio, Brenda, Janet, Michelle, Rosa, and Isael. So, oh, and we have Edwin as well. He just joined. Okay, great. Um, well, guys, I'm happy to see you guys one more time. Uh, how has your day been today? How has your day been? Has it been a good day? Exhausting? Tiring? What? How has your frustrating? What has your been? Didn't your been your day been like? Um, my day is stressfully. Really? Oh no. Okay. Yeah. All right. What well, is it stressful because of work or because of something else? Um, because of work. Oh, sorry to hear that. Okay. Well, the good thing is you are in the middle of the week. Only two more days left. Or do you do you work on the weekends, Jose Arturo? Yeah. Um. I'm work. Uh. Until. Sunday. So you work seven days a week? Yeah, seven days. Wow, that's that's tough. Wow. What um where what do you do? Like yeah, what what do you do in your job? Um I'm a driver. Oh, okay, okay, I understand, yeah. So, very busy, and, and traffic, it gets you, like, it's, yeah, uh, yeah it, can, it can get anyone very stressed, so I understand. 
Yes. Yes, Lee. Yeah, sorry to hear that. Okay, well, guys, um, first of all, welcome, um, everybody, and thank you for connecting on time. Um, what we're going to do right now, yesterday I started explaining a little bit about um, asking questions about what exists in a city, okay? And I taught you, what I taught you was that when we're talking about um, things that are singular, for example, um, let's say an airport, a hospital, um, things, just one we would be asking is there, right? Or sorry, 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 uh, sorry, my mistake. Let, let, let's rewind, okay? Forget what I just said. Repeat. When you're talking about, when you're saying what exists in a city, you're going to say, um, you're going to be using there is, right? Okay. There is an airport, there, uh, there is, um, uh, uh, a museum, there is a hospital, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So just like you say there is, in a question, you're going to just reverse it and say, is there, right? So you're going to say, is there an airport? Is there a, is there a museum? Is there a, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, 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 what could it be? A museum? Is there a hospital, etc., etc.? Okay. Now, when you're asking about something as plural, you would say, um, you would explain, you would explain saying there are. Okay. So, for example, there are many parks in my city. There are. Um, churches in my city there are blah blah, blah. there are um, a, um there are uh, police stations in my city now when you're asking the question we're going to reverse it and you're going to say are there not there are but are there but we also learned that when we are asking a question and you say are there we add a word who remembers what word we add? Some. Okay, we do use some in, in the answer, but in the question? Um, Sorry, could, could you repeat? Sorry, Nona, no, can you speak a little bit louder? I can't hear you very well. Uh -huh. Yes, thank you very much, Lorena. Exactly, we say any, okay? So you say, are there any um, shopping malls in your city? Are there any theaters in your city? Are there any um are there any aquariums in your city okay does that make sense for everybody yeah yeah okay good now when we are answering the question we would say yes there are and we could say, there, yes, there are some, okay? Then we could use the word some. It's possible to use the word some, okay? Does that make sense? Questions? Nothing. Okay, good. Now, we also learned that we can give instructions or, or tell the person where it is. For example, is there, um, okay, imagine, imagine that I was, I'm going to make it a place that everybody knows. Um, imagine that I am in Metrocentro, 
just because I think everybody knows Metro Centro, right? I, th I think everybody knows Metro Centro, right? That area. Yes? Yeah. Oh, um. okay. okay, so if, if you ask, for example, if you are in Metro Centro and you say, is there a gas station near here? And you're in Metro Centro. Where would you say that the gas station is? Yeah, there is one. Uno. In front of Metro Centro. Right. But where is it? Where would you describe? You can say, yes, there is one. And then where would you say that, that it exists? It's in front of, or it's across of Metro Centro. Yes. Yeah, it's it could be. It's opposite to Metro Centro. Okay, yeah, you can say, uh-huh. You can say that it's, um, it, it's on the caddy corner, for example. Caddy corner, right? Al otro lado de la, de, de la, de la esquina. Right? La, o la otra esquina. Okay? It's caddy corner to Metro Centro. Right? That would be, it, it, you would be able to describe it like that. Or if I ask, for example, is there, okay, I am, I am, not in Metro Centro. I am a, in um, the real uh, the the Intercontinental Hotel, and I and I ask you, is there a supermarket around here? Yes. Yes, there are. One on the second floor. Mm. Right, there is one on the second floor in Metro Centro, but there's actually one a, a little bit closer. If I am in, in if I am in, um, if I am in, in um, the Inter Intercontinental Hotel, there's a supermarket that is closer. Where is it? In Santa Ana is in front, in front of Metro Centro. It's near, near. Okay, very good. Okay, excellent. All right, so I have never actually, well, I have been to Santa Ana, but I don't know, I, I don't know Santa Ana very well. But okay, so we have learned a little bit about Santa Ana, very good. And in San Salvador, there is one that is in front of Metro Sur. Yeah. Or we can say in front of the bus station. Oh, next to. Yeah, so do you see what I'm saying? Uh, we can we can use these um, these these different areas to describe where it's located. Okay. So what I'm going to ask you to do right now is the following. I'm going to get you to work in groups. Um, por favor, no se me vayan. <laughs> de repente se me vayan. Yo digo, we're going to go into groups and everybody goes. <laughs> Okay, so the idea here is to practice, right? That's why you're here in class, to be able to practice because working on the platform is great, but if you work on or if you only work on the platform and you and you never speak English, you're not going to learn it, right? So you're just going to learn to be able to write in English and that's it. And and you're not going to be able to communicate with people in English by speaking. So it so it's and and it's okay. You make mistakes, it's okay, right? So uh, I'm going to tell you something personal experience. Um ya se me fue uno. Okay, no, I, I I'm I'm hoping that it was just an internet problem. <laughs> okay. So anyways, um 
I'm going to tell you something from personal experience. I'm learning a language right now. Um, and, you know, I, I, I understand a lot of the, um, I understand lots of things. And, um, and it's really interesting. And, and I get most of the things correct. But once in a while, I make mistakes. And that's okay. It's okay to make mistakes. Right? Um, in fact, that's the way we learn. We learning, learn, like, making mistakes is actually part of the learning process. So it's okay. You can make mistakes. And it's okay not to be 100% um, uh, like confident about something. It's okay. Confidence is something that comes with time. But you have to expose yourself to it. Okay. In fact, if you think about it, uh, there, I was, I was, uh, I remember there's, I read once this expression, I really, really liked it because it says, todo experto eh, tuvo que aprender en algún momento. Right? So, people, uh, all, people that are experts in something, they don't just automatically out of nothing, like, you know, they were born experts. No, they had to learn. Somebody had to teach them. They had to make mistakes. And once they made mistakes and they, and they were able to, to, to overcome that, then they became experts. Right? So you make mistakes. That's okay. One day you will be an expert. Right? Okay. So don't worry. Don't make, don't, don't worry about making mistakes. Don't, don't be afraid of mistakes. They're part of the process. So I'm going to get you right now to work in, um, let me think. Okay. I'm, um, let me think, let me think. I'm going to get you to work in groups. Uh, if I make, mm -hmm. okay. And I want you to ask questions about what exists in the person's city. Okay. So you're going to be asking your partner, um, is there, uh, you're not going to be asking, is there a uh, blah, blah, blah near here? Because each one of you is in different, in, in different cities, right? Or in different parts of El Salvador. So you're not going to ask, is there a blah, blah, blah near here? But you're going to ask, is there, for example, is there a hotel in your city? Are there parks in your city? Um, or are there any yes. parks in your city, et cetera, et cetera, okay? And then your partner yes. is going to answer yes or no. And not only are they going to answer yes or no, but they're also going to tell you where in the city you can find it. So each one of you has is in a different city, right? Um, some of you are in San Salvador, but some of you are not in San Salvador. And that's great because that way we'll be able to have more variety. Okay. Does everybody understand what we're going to be doing? Lorena, not clear? Yeah. Different cities. I, I don't know if the person is getting so I, I don't understand very well. Could you repeat? That you said that, that, that we're going to work with uh, different cities. Different places. No, no, you're not going to go to the cities. You're going to be asking your partner about their city. So, Lorena, where do you live? I'm living in Pichuteca. In, Co in Cojutepeque? Here in San Salvador, in Ayutuxtepeque. Ah, in Ayutuxtepeque. Okay, good. All right. So you live in Ayutuxtepeque. I live in San Salvador. Right in, in, in San Salvador, San Salvador. Okay. So we live in different cities, right? So I'm going to ask you about your city. And your city is? And you're going to be, and if you were, if you were my partner, you'd be asking me about my city, which is in San Salvador. Okay. Thank 
Okay, so you're going to say, is there a blah, blah, blah in your city? Okay, so is there a hotel in your city? Are there um, parks in your city? Etc. Etc. Okay, does that make sense? Yes. Okay, everybody's clear? Yeah. Yeah. It's clear. That's for sure. Perfect. All right, let me open the groups then. We're going to create breakout rooms. Let's see. Okay. Um, Hmm. Okay. Okay, let's create the groups. Um, yeah, okay. All right, I've opened up the groups. You can go ahead and join your group. Is the weather is very far cool. from me. Cool. Uh, it's very. What? In San Miguel is very. Uh huh. I forget. You tell me that in San Miguel is very what? Hmm. I don't understand. Is the the weather or or what? No, in Spanish I, I tell you. Yes. I, o sea, entendí que me decía que en su en San Miguel era bien, bien qué. O sea, ahí me perdí. Ah, very cool. No. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> Instead of uh, hot. <laughs> ah, okay, I understand that. Uh, <laughs> so, is there a supermarket in your city? Oscar? Yes, yes, many market. Uh, the ultimate, the last is was Walmart. Okay. And you ask me? Sorry, I can't hear you. Ask me the question? Yeah. Okay. I can hear you. Uh, can you repeat the, the question? Is is there a supermarket in your city, Oscar? Yes. Yes, there is. Okay. And is there a drugstore in your city? A drugstore. Drugstore. Is is like a mm, pharmacy. <laughs> Teacher, yes. uh, drugstore drug is like a pharmacy. Yes, exactly. Drugstore is like a pharmacy. Pharmacy, okay. Or better say, it is a pharmacy. Ah, uh, oh, all right. Es que se escucha un poco cortado. Perdón. Okay. So, um, uh, uh, Miss Leon, where do you live? I live in San Salvador. Yeah. Oh, uh, let me see. I remember Colonia. Do you remember how do you say Colonia or, or Barrio? I live in Canton. <laughs> But is ah. uh, del Master, yeah. Ah, 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 Mas Ferrer, yes. Mas Ferrer. Yeah. Is there 
in your city is there uh, there are malls malls yeah there are malls no no there isn't there is there there is so far uh, I, I asked you um are they no eh, em, otra vez otra vez comienzo is there an elevator in in is there an elevator elevator um, no elevator no there no there are not there aren't any elevator elevator because uh, the houses the buildings are usually uh, the most part of my city are in some one floor or, or two floors okay very good Maurice. uh just rem remember that you're gonna say no there um no there aren't sorry elevators elevator so make sure that you put the s at the end elevators because it's plural there aren't any any elevator. is there a library in your city um, yes, there are um, two libraries near to my house in, the, in my city. Okay, in June, um, how much? Sorry? I'm sorry? In June? Um, no, no, they aren't any. Okay. In your city, Ismael, there are are there um, any church? Yes, they there are. In my city. And you, uh, Alma. In my class. Yes, yes, they are a uh, many, many church, the different religion. Religion, religion. Ah, okay, in my case, um, it's the same thing. Uh, there are some, there are different uh, churches near to my house. Um, there are, uh, are there, a university in your city is uh, is mine. Yes. Is that, then we have to say, is, is there? I'm sorry. Is there a um? Is there a supermarket in my town or in your town? Is there a supermarket in your town? In your city? Is there? You have to answer? Yes, there is. There is one in that place. Or no, there are. There isn't. A question uh, the not down supermarket, no mercado. How do you say mercado? A mercado, a supermarket, pero yeah. don in the mall, don in the mall, no, supermarket. That's, that's the market. That's okay, the, okay. Uh, don, uh, sorry, um, the market is, is in uh, YouTube Sepeki. Yeah, we have, we have a, a market, uh, we have a Catholic, Catholic church, church. There is one in the, in the, okay. Yeah. Interesting. 
Hola. 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 Fat. Fat, uh-huh. There are far of your Yes, very, very far. Uh, um, uh, 30, 30 minutes <coughs> the, the my house. Um, uh, there are pupusas is uh, near. <laughs> Is the typical? Yes, y very delicious. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! And where do you live, Carlita? Yes. Um, I live in a papa. Ah, a papa city. Papa city. You, you're, you're in my, in my, in my way. Um, en la libertad, eh, Nuevo Cuscatlán. Eh, no, I don't know acá. And you know the new hospital? Oh? You know the, conoces el, el hospital? You know the new hospital? Uh, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Everybody says it's, well, it's so beautiful. I don't know because, but you know. You know it. Well, have any question? Yeah. Are are there any books or in your city? Bookstore. Bookstore. What's mean books? What's mean bookstore? Bookstore librerias. Ah, bookstore. Uh, bookstore. 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 Uh, yes. Yes. There are some uh, bookstores. I like the bookstores. I like yeah. real. It's a big tesor. Yeah, I like. Yeah. Do you like Do you like real books, Anna? Oh, repeat, please. Do you like real books? Yes, uh, I like. Uh, I like real. Um, Intelligent emotion, emotion uh, read, uh, those uh, business administration. Oh, near to my house. It's, uh, it's a far. Mm -hmm. Is there an a Airport no. uh, in your city? There, there are no. Okay. Um, there is no. In, is there in, in the city a uh, bank? Yes, there is. Make sure you ask, is there a bank in your city? Put the in your city at the end. Okay, is there a bank in your city? Yes, there is. Mm -hmm. Is there a gas station in your house? No, there is near my house. No, 
but there are many many gas stations far far is lejos teacher <laughs> sorry what is it far means lejos right yes correct Rosa, the word is far. The word is far. Far. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so far is como muy lejano. Uh, lejos. Mm. Okay, great guys, excellent. Um, so how did your practice go? Did you feel that you were able to practice in, uh, enough with your classmates? Uh, were you able to ask the questions with no problems? Uh, or did you have difficulty um, asking or answering? Yes, teacher. Um, I I I think. ¿Cómo sería de la la pregunta? Is there a freeway near to my house o cerca de mi casa? Una autopista cerca de mi casa. Yeah, that's right. Correct. Any other questions? No, no question, teacher. Teacher, no? I have a doubt, doubt. In plural, is correct to say there are some or there are many? The vote. Both are correct. Um, just okay. that if you say some, mm -hmm. it's saying that the quantity is not a big quantity, not a small quantity. It's like medium size. But if you say there are many, you're talking that the quantity is big, right? It's like it's the difference. It's like in Spanish. In Spanish, you say hay algunas. For example, hay algunas. Um, o oh, hay algunos parques por acá. Algunos parques podrían ser que okay, three, four, five. But if you say there are many parks here, then probably the you know there are probably I don't know eight, nine, ten parks, right? So the quantity is very big. It's a big, big quantity. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Any more questions you have? Okay, perfect. In that case, what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to be going on to the next questions. And actually that question that you asked is perfect because it introduces the next topic, okay? So, I'm going to be sharing right now the word document and I want you to tell me if you are able to see 
the word documents. So it's not, so tell me when you can see it. Yes, I can see yes, it. Yes, I see it. I yes. see it. Yes. Okay, perfect. So what I'm going to do is start by um, just give me a moment. Oops. Okay. I'm going to write here because I think it, it goes, it's a little bit easier if I do it with the uh, different colors. Um, so, okay, so I'm going to be talking about quantifiers. Quantifiers. And the quantifiers that we're going to be talking about are how many and how much. Okay, how many and how much. All right. Um, all right, so you already, we have already talked about, um, no, actually, I think we have. No, we have it not yet. Just give me a second. Okay, so basically, how many and how much? Um, we are going to decide if we're going to be, uh, how many and how much is asking about quantities, basically, okay? And how many and how much we decide which one we're going to use, depending if it's a countdown or a non-countdown, okay? So let's talk about count nouns. Oh, actually, I'm gonna make it lowercase so we don't get confused. Count nouns. I wanna make sure that everybody understands what a count noun is. Okay, so then we have not count nouns and non count nouns. Oops, no, no, my mistake. Non count nouns. There we go. That's better. Okay. All right. So, um, when I say count nouns or non-count nouns, do you understand what it is that I'm referring to? Uh, I don't know. Um, for example, the number, the cups in, in with the coffee. Oh. For example, books, mm -hmm. um, tables, TVs, mm -hmm. houses. Okay. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Those are examples. Very good. Yeah, exactly. And thank you, Edwin, there for, for um, being honest, right? It's okay. If you don't know, that's fine. That's what, that's what we're in class for, to learn. So when I refer to count nouns, well, the word tells you. The word says count. I'm sorry. My mistake. I made a mistake, guys. I should not say counts. It should say just count. Count nouns. I'm sorry about that. Okay, so when, I, when I'm when i talking about count nouns, the word tells you these are nouns that we can count. So we can say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, etc., etc. Okay? Words that we can count. For example, we can count desks. We can count um chairs dress we can count cars dress teachers dresses yes exactly um. just give me a moment chairs uh we can count dresses we can count apartments um apartments yes apartments we can count computers and we can count uh, people. Table. We can count tables. 
there. Okay. And we can count. <clears throat> um, we can count countries. Books. Countries. We can count years, teacher. Okay, and we can count, um, for example, we can count uh, pictures. Pencils. Pencils, etc., etc., etc. Okay, I'm not going to give you a whole list of everything that's possible to count because that would be way too much. Okay, so I'm not going to do that. Okay. Um, Pens, yeah, okay, pens. All right, so um, those are count nouns. Does that make sense for everybody? And yeah, t-shirt. Are the articles flat? No, can count. Sorry? Um, no, don't know. Are articles what no can or cannot count exactly yeah that's exactly it very good so if count nouns are nouns that we can count then non-count nouns are things that we can't count okay so these are objects that we can't count it's impossible what things can we count? For example, we can't count water, right? It's impossible to count water. We can't say three waters. Okay? Rice. 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 Sugar. Good. Rice, sugar. We can't count those things, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, or things like... Um, Milk. Uh, Milk, yes. Uh -huh. um, coffee. Coffee. Okay. But not only not only food or, or, or drinks, but also things like we can, other things that we can't count. For example, pollution. Pollution. Yeah. Do you understand yeah. pollution? Yeah. Yeah. Traffic light? Traffic. We can't count. We can't count traffic, right? Okay. Um, so pollution, traffic. Uh, anything else that you can think of that Crime. we can count? Lord. Sorry. Crime. Crime. Right. Um. Yes. Very good. Crime. Teacher. Yeah. We can. We can stars. say the stars. Did you say stars? Yeah, in in the in the heaven. We can count stars. It's possible mm -hmm. to count the stars. Yes, I mean it is. It, it is. Um, it is difficult to count all the stars, but it is possible. Okay, so that stars we can count. Yeah, what we couldn't count, for example, oxygen. We can't count oxygen. Okay. Hello? Um, no. Sorry? No. Did you say love? Yeah. Love? How much love do, do I have for, for someone? I'm so sorry. I can't, I can't hear you very well. Can you speak a little bit louder? Love? How much love I have for someone? I can't count. Yeah. Exactly, and we can also do it like things that we cannot can things that we cannot see. Like for example, love. Yes, love we can't see, um, and the opposite of love, hate, or sorry, emotion. Not, not have hate, or for example, knowledge, conocimiento. Right? Uh, we can't count those things. Okay, so count nouns, things we can count. Non count things we can't count. Another thing that we can't count is. Oops, sorry. I'm doing it in Spanish. 
I don't know why. Life. Okay, yes, money. We cannot count money. And some people say, what, teacher? You can't count money? Of course, like, I can say I can count money. And the answer is no, you cannot count money. What you count is you, you can count dollars, you can count bills, you can count coins, but you can't count money. You can't say, I have five monies. And that's impossible. Just like in Spanish. Uno no, no, uno no cuenta el dinero. Uno no dice, tú me debes cinco dineros. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, okay, so the, the word money is not possible to count. So that's why it's a non-count. Now, what do you, why do we need to know this? The reason why we need to know this is because when we are asking, actually, I'm going to make this a little bit smaller just so that it all fits here. So when we are counting, um, I'm sorry, sorry, when we're asking questions like how many or how much, you have to understand what if, it, the, if the, the noun is countable or uncountable. If it's countable, we are gonna use how many, okay? And if it's uncountable, we're gonna use how much, okay? So now that you understand that, let me, let me make some questions here okay um let me change let me change the font um let's change it to purple just because i like purple <laughs> okay so um you're going to be asking questions like this give me a second give me a second um you can ask are there many are there many um, chairs on the classroom chair. okay are there many chairs in the classroom okay this is not a with how many but it is possible um, possible to ask are there okay so the this is a question instead of saying there it there are you're gonna say are there right so are there many chairs in the classroom so we're using in this case the word many and why are we using the word many we're using it because the word chairs is countable okay so we can count the amount of chairs okay all right now if we were going to ask, for example, um, are there, no, sorry, sorry, no, are there. Now, if we're going to be asking something that is, um, that is not countable, we're going to be asking, with, starting with is, is there much, okay. for example, is there much sugar? No, milk. Let's start with. Let's do. It. Is there there is there much? No, no. Let's say. Um. Oh yeah. Is there much money? Let's start. Is there much money? Um. In. Her wallet. Sorry, wallet, not waller. Everybody understands what a wallet is. Yes. Billetera. Exactly. Okay. So in this case, we're going to use much. And the reason why we're using much is because the word that comes after it, which is money, is a word that is uncountable. We can't count money. Okay. So it, is there much money in, the wa in her wallet? Okay. Now with this, we're going to be um, answering in different ways. Okay. Uh, we can we can answer for example um, by saying um, hold on give me a moment we can say yes actually let me change that yes there are yeah. 
Okay, so we're going to say yes, not just there are, but we yes. can, we're, going to, we're, we're going to make it a little bit, um, a, a little bit more, what's the word, um, more specific, okay? Instead of just saying yes, there are, let's say, for example, um, yes, there are there are and then we can say a lot yes there are a lot or yes there are a few okay. there are a few do you understand um, a few? Uh, yes. yes. Um, unos, cu un, unos cuantos. A few, unos cuantos. Okay. All right. Or we can say, for example, yes, there, or, um, no, no, that would probably be it. Right. Okay. Um, now, if, if it's, so, um, let me let me make this a little bit we're gonna make it highlighted here so that okay so we can say yes there are a lot okay so i'm going to change the color um so that it is a little bit clear yeah that works Okay, so yes, there are a lot, okay? Um, or if I'm going to answer no, another way you can do it is by saying no. Let me just change this. No, there aren't many. Or no, or no, there aren't any, okay, so, so no, there aren't many means that there is not, there, there is, um, there are some, they do exist, but the quantity is very little. Okay, um, and no, there aren't any, it means that nothing exists. The quantity is zero, okay? And the other possibility is saying no, there are none, which is pretty much the same thing. No, there are none, it means the same thing. And actually, you know what? I'm gonna put it up here because um, it's pretty much the same thing. So you can you can decide which one you want to choose. Okay, it's the same. Aren't any or no? There are none. Okay, so, um, so let's just highlight this. Let me just see if. Okay, so is this clear for everybody or are there any questions about this part so far? The, the second one would be no there are no there aren't 
With this one, no, you say no, there are none. Okay, so none is, um, you have to use with affirmative. No, there are none because none is negative. I, I think by so, you don't need to, to write there. So, sorry, I didn't understand. You don't, you don't write no, there are none. That's to say no are none. Oh, okay. I understand why you said no. That was actually my mistake. Sorry. Thank you for pointing that out. I didn't notice that. Yes. Thank you. No. Um, you're going to have to say no, there are none. Okay. So that would be the correct answer. And thank you for pointing that out. I hadn't noticed it. Okay. So there you go. No, there are, aren't any or no, there are none. Okay. And in this case, uh, when you are asking about um, uh, with, an, with the countable nouns, um, sorry, non-countable nouns, um, then you can say, for example, is there much money in her wallet? We can say, um, you can say, yes. Actually, with this one, um, I'm going to copy this because it's going to be the same answer, okay? Um, Teacher, a question. A question, teacher. It, it is correct uh, use much money? Much. Much, much. money. Much money, correct. Much money. Uh, uh, money is contable. No, money we can't count. It's uncountable. Okay. It's not possible to count money. We can't say five monies, 10 monies, 30 monies. Not possible. Okay? Okay. All right. So if this, is, if, if this answer here, is there much money in the wallet, is going to be the same as this one, except that here, because we are using... Um, is we're not going to use are we're just going to change the is to are okay so yes there is a lot not the yes there are a lot does that make sense for everybody okay and the same thing here um now here uh, we're going to be answering Let's see. So we're going to say in this one, we're going to change it obviously to always to there, um, there is, or to make it a um, contractor, we can say there's, and then here we're going to say uh, instead of a, li um, a lot, we're going to say a little. So that's another possibility. Instead of saying a few, the opposite of a few is a little, okay? So a lot, this is the same, a lot, a lot. Here, the opposite of a few is a little, okay? Um, and over here, um, over here, we're gonna say the same idea in this one. We're gonna say, um, is there much money? And answer is going to be no, there not. We're not going to say is not. We're not going to say no, there aren't. We're going to say no, there isn't, right? Because that's what that's the the verb that we're using here. Okay, no, there isn't. And in this case, it's not going to be many. It's going to be much because that's what we're asking about. We're going to ask about much. So in this case, is no, there isn't much. Okay. And here, this is going to be the same answer as well as over here. Okay, we're going to use it over here. Um, actually, let me copy the whole thing over here. So it'll be easier that way. Um, so over here, it's going to be the same answer again. Once again, it's going to be no, there 
but in this case it's not going to be it aren't it's going to be isn't we're just going to change this to isn't so isn't no there isn't and the same thing here okay instead of saying oh oh i'm so sorry guys i made a mistake it's not there it's not are there because it's not a question it's there are i'm sorry about that okay so over here it's going to be the same thing no there is or no there is none or contracted no there's none okay oops and that would be our answers okay does that make sense for everybody Sure, teacher. Any questions? No question. Okay. All right, guys. I'm going to stop sharing at this moment. And uh, what I'm going to ask you guys to do, um, well, we're, I'm going to be sending some exercises for homework. And I'm going to ask you guys to complete them. Okay. So that's going to be all for today. All right, so guys, it's been a pleasure seeing you once again, and I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good Thank night. you, teacher.